Okay, apologies in advance because we are going to show you another clip from the Jeremy Vine show and Marina Perkis, the middle class champagne socialist anti Brexit nutter who is a presenter on the Jeremy Vine show and having a debate on Brexit and having a meltdown over Brexit again uh, when she was talking to this uh, lady. Let's uh, go through this uh, for those of you who are going to be uh, patient enough and tolerant enough to watch this with me. If I'm watching it, you're going down with me, ladies and gentlemen. Country. Marina, uh, maybe Lynn's got a point. Maybe Brexit just needs a little bit of bedding in time. <laughs> Basically, the whole debate is um, the other person is saying, give Brexit more time, Brexit Britain, because we've only basically only had Brexit since 2021. So it's only been just over a year and you can't really judge Brexit yet. Also, we haven't even had full Brexit because we're still tied to EU rules, EU laws and Northern Ireland is inside the European Union. But Marina, these people, they are so intellectually vacant. They've been going around saying Brexit happens since 2016. No, that was the vote, you idiot. Brexit doesn't need any more bedding in time. Brexit is a disaster. And Lynn, you're going to be waiting a long, long time because there are no benefits to Brexit. No government's going to make this work. Can because you tell me why salaries more... have gone up then? They have. Blue so where, they have. Where, so where on earth are you quote this from? Everyone knows that UK UK wages have stagnated. That is why we are one of the, one of the worst... With blue-collar workers, with tradesmen. They haven't. They have Tra Tradesmen, for the first uh, time ever, the, are the... seeing it. He's going to shout, she's going to scream, get used to it. Increase in there's their salaries. There's been an increase in 6%, but there's also an inflation of 10%. So we... Hang on, the inflation nonsense, uh, which is a big problem in the country, is also happening across Europe. And in fact, it's going down much faster here than the rest of Europe. I'm not defending the government, by the way, because it's mostly because of our uh, the hardworking people, the economy is strong, the financial sector is coming back slowly. Things are bad here. I'm not defending everything about this country right now, the state of the country. But because of the lockdown measures and everything else that all countries did, they're all on the same boat. They all did the same thing. So it's not just like the rest of Europe has an inflation rate of 1% and here is about 11%. It's not the truth. Not really I mean, wage, wage stagnation, it is a known fact that this country is suffering wage stagnation. And one of the reasons for that is because of a lack of investment since 2016. Foreign investment, investment into this country has dropped Lies. off a cliff because we are <clears throat> unstable. People not, do not see this country as a country that can be invested in at the moment. Okay. That's a lie because that was a myth of uh, George Osborne and David Cameron going around saying this in 2016 during the campaign. But then we've seen over the last few years, the basic investment has already gone up by 35% and everything else by 78%. It's not true that investment has gone down. The uncertainty that Brexit uh, should have given, and it did give basic concept of Brexit in terms of uh, the process of leaving the EU, still didn't really affect the economy that much. It was uh, obviously what's going on in the Ukraine, uh, in Ukraine and Russia, and uh, that obviously we spent so much money on that side, as well as the lockdown policies and everything else. You shut down the economy and you kept printing money, and now you're saying it's Brexit's fault. So why, why is it UK food and drink exports reach record high, uh, up by 22%? Why are, since why when? are never... Since ne when? Since 2022. Since 2022. 2022. For the first time, since we've broke when? through 10 billion barrier with our food and drink exports. Our exports <laughs> dropped 40% since we left, <laughs> since we left but, the but, EU. But this is what I'm saying. The thing is, there's never well, any you know positive so to got, those so things. I've got to point this out to you, right? Why are you just coming up with your own fake numbers? That's not how the debate works, Marina. Because this happened with Nick Ferrari the other day, right? People just pick out these random data sets which sound nice and tell the story they want to tell. And I appreciate you voted Brexit, so you're looking for the, like, the good... The and good you're thing. anti, so you're going to obviously no, but, have no, but, your, but on, your specific... Is the OBR anti? Is the Bank of England anti? Is the Financial Times yes. anti? Okay, but Marie... I'll tell you who's, yeah. who's pro-Brexit now. Yeah. This government, who are full of charlatans, who can't be honest about anything, people who are probably Brexiteers and, and want to make themselves feel better about the bad decision they made. It's not and, just this government, And the though. Express what? and the Sun and the Daily Mail. OK, but Marie, can I ask you a question? Can, can I just ask you a simple Everyone question. is poor. Okay, uh, like you. Oh my God! I'm so glad this video ended. The clip. Oh, I, I apologize again for giving you a headache. But if I was gonna watch it, you have to watch it with me. Um, what is this uh, mentality? The that the middle, the upper middle classes and the, the the posh ones have to think that they have to always look down on the rest of us, the working classes and everybody else. Why are you so hateful? She's not against. She's not necessarily and fighting against the idea of Brexit. They are against Brexit because they don't like Brexiteers. They don't like Brexit voters. They don't like the types of people who voted to leave the EU because they see them as plebs and smelly commoners. That's what they see them as. They see them as idiots. That's the reality. Look at that face. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, uh, let's take a break. Thank you so much for being patient and watching this with me. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.